In this video, I'll break down how to create some really cool paper rip transitions digitally using Brian Del Mata's paper rip overlays. Now I'm using the paper rips and fold V2 pack, but he's a whole bunch of other really cool paper overlay packs. The link is going to be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase these really cool paper rip overlay packs. I'm just going to give you a basic idea of how to use them, how to create a very similar transition to the one that you saw in the intro. Now once you bought the paper rip transition pack, downloaded the file and unzipped the folder, you want to just figure out where you want to have the folder saved. I have mine saved in my save Samsung T7. Now remember, these are just overlays. So they're not presets, they're not plugins, they're just simply overlays. So all you want to do is click on Command um, I. So click on Command I. And as you can see right here, I have it saved in my Samsung T7. Brian Delmata rips and fold V2. So as you can see, they're just PNG files. You either select on the individual file or you can select in the folder itself and then just click Import Selected. Remember, these are just PNG overlays. They're not plugins, they're not presets, they're just simply overlays. Now what you want to do is you want to find some photos that you want to use for this transition. You can either use photos that you actually took during the actual shoot or what you could do is you could actually take the still frames from the video. So what you want to do is take your play and hover over. Let's say we want to use this frame right here. All you would do is head over here. So click on this icon, click on save current frame, and you can name whatever you want. And of course you can change the export. Now let's, and then you can just click on next. So exact uh, for example, a uh, .png file, click on next, and you're just exporting it like a still frame. So basically you're essentially taking a screenshot. Now you could also go over here to this section, and if you don't see save current frame, you could click on here to add destination, and then you can just simply see save current frame, and then just drag it over here into your destinations. That way you can basically just export a still frame. It's essentially like taking a screenshot. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select a photo we wanna use. So let's say photo number one. So drag it onto the timeline. I wanna go ahead and just simply trim this photo um, right here, so option, and then we're gonna go ahead and click on right bracket right here. So we just simply trimmed this photo. Now for example, I have this, this again it depends on what you wanna do. So for example, I have it for one second and two frame so again just depends on how long you want it or how fast you want the paper to happen or how slow you want it it's all up to you so let's go ahead and click on um, command plus to go ahead and just kind of open up this uh, kind of expand this timeline so we can get a closer view of it so what you want to do is you want to scroll down and obviously figure out where you have uh, kind of find the paper overlays so you see I imported them here are some of the ones that I'm going to use so let's go ahead and let's select on this paper rip and you're just gonna drag it on top of the clip right here now we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing right here option we'll go ahead and click on right bracket just to trim it so you can see here's a paper overlay now let's select on it let's increase the scale a little bit so it completely like covers the screen so there's none of those like weird like um so see if I scale it right here, you wanna make sure there's none of those white um, lines. In this case, now we will use them later on, but in this case, we're gonna, in this example, we're just gonna scale it up right here. So make sure you can only see like this like this part right here. Now we're gonna go ahead over to blend mode and we're gonna select in the blend mode and we're gonna change the blend mode to screen. So there we go. That's basically all you're doing. You're just changing the blend mode. Now we can go, as you can see right here, now that looks a lot better. Now we're gonna select on both these right here and we're gonna go ahead and right click, create new compound clip. And we'll just name this one, of course, you you can name whatever you want and click on return and all you did right here was you created a compound clip now what we're going to do is we're going to select on this compound clip hold down the option key and we'll go ahead and just create a copy so all we did was just simply create a copy now we're going to head over here to the um over here to the effects panel and we're going to go ahead and type in draw mask we're going to place the draw mask onto this one and then we can also place the draw mask onto the other one but in this example i'm just going to copy the draw mask and copy and paste it but you can of course apply it to as many clips as you want so as you can see right here, I just applied the draw mask onto the top clip. Now we're going to go over here and increase the scale. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to cut along these white lines. Obviously you can be like as, as precise as you want, but we're going to go ahead and we're just going to cut along these white lines. So simply go over here, click on this white line. Now you want to go out to 50% so you can cut along uh, the outside of the photo. So go like this, select like the draw mask. I'm gonna go ahead and just simply mask this out. Now if we go ahead and disable the bottom clip. This is what it looks like right here. So that looks a lot. So that looks really cool. You kind of basically um, use the mask to kind of like cut up the paper rip. So if we go over here and then, so if we go ahead and select the top one, that's what it looks like. Nothing's gonna happen. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go over here. You could either copy and paste the draw mask onto this clip, or you can head over here to the draw mask, apply the draw mask onto the bottom one. And then we can just, in this example, we'll just do a really uh, rough job of the masking. And then we'll go ahead and go right here. 
and now if we disable the top clip now just the bottom is isolated so there we go that's basically how you cut off the paper just simply using a draw mask now we're going to do is going to go ahead and just zoom into the timeline a little bit by clicking command and the plus arrow now we're going to go ahead and kind of like animate it so we'll go one two three four five six seven eight i have a marker right here and let's just trim um this top clip right here so we just have this bottom one right here so it's kind of you just kind of like offsetting the paper rips now we'll go ahead and select on this one the bottom one so one two three four we're going to go to four frames and we're just going to press on command b to blade it so what we're going to do is we're going to select we, we want to animate the bottom one first so select on this one right here and let's increase the scale a little bit so let's increase the scale and maybe like move the position over something like this so we increase it a little more now let's go to the next frame and let's go ahead select on this one if we increase it a little bit so let's do because that was like 116 now let's move it over something like this and move the position over so it's basically just trial and error we're gonna go ahead and select in here command b we're gonna select on this one and we're going to reset the scale and the position back to zero but let's move the position down a little more so we go ahead and let's disable the top one as you can see i just created like stop a stop motion effect so i go ahead and play right here as you can see there we go so basically you have like this, this is the first frame, the next frame, and the third frame. So you're basically just kind of cutting it up and you're kind of like adjusting the scale and position. So you have like a really cool, as you see, really cool stop motion effect. Now let's go ahead over here and re-enable this clip. We'll go one, two, three, four, belate it. One, two, three, four. Um, blade right here and then that should work now let's go ahead and select on this one and let's do something a little bit different let's increase the scale a little bit let's move the position the x position over move the y over maybe increase the scale a little more go over to this frame and i think it was like 129 so maybe we'll do a little less so like 119 go up and move the x over and then we'll select on this one and then we'll reset and then actually you know for example the, the scale position are already back at zero but let's go over here and maybe just move the position up just slightly because we don't want it to completely to connect and there we go if we go ahead and play the clip as you can see you have this really cool like stop motion effect let's go ahead and just disable on uh, the bottom one just so you can get an idea of what the top looks like so if i go ahead and play it right here this is what the top looks like right there and if we re-enable the bottom one, as you can see, now you're animating them both, and now you have a really clean um, transition, just as simple as that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna transition it into clip number two. So let's go over here and go to the beginning. So as you can see, here is just clip number two. Let's go to the first frame of clip number two and click on option F. All we did right there was we just froze the first frame of the second clip. So if I go ahead and play the clip, you see it's just frozen, and then it goes into clip number two, just as simple as that. Now we can go ahead and just select on this and we can just trim it so we'll do something like 16 frames so let's I think like 16 frames should be good enough and let's go ahead and hold down the option key and just create a copy because we want two of these so and then we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead so here's the freeze frame now we're gonna go ahead and select a couple of different paper overlays now in this case this is gonna be a little bit different so I go over here and scroll down and so I can figure where it is so here here um, overlay two and overlay one now these are compound clips but I'll show you how to how I create it so we, if we place this on top of the clip right here as you can see we just have a cutout of this paper overlay now if you're looking through your paper overlays you realize you actually don't have this now what i did was i actually opened up or, or i, I uh, put the paper onto the uh, timeline if i open and then i just create i mask it out and create a compound clip so we open up this compound clip this is what it actually looks like so let's disable the draw mask so this is what the original looked like so as you can see this is this is um a paper rip so th this is one of the paper rips you get in the pack this is what the original looks like all i did was i applied a draw mask onto this paper rip and as you can see i just cut out this section so you can either use the whole paper rip or only use a section of it by simply using the draw mask so there we go I just isolated a certain section so here's paper rip um, one so let's go ahead and let's increase the timeline zoom into the timeline just so it's easier to see now we'll go ahead and let's take the paper rip overlay and place it right here so here's paper rip one so it's going to place it onto the timeline now we're going to do is we're gonna, uh, select one of the freeze frames right here so select on this freeze frame we're going to go ahead and select on this paper rip overlay what we're going to do is go over to blend mode 
and we're gonna change the blend mode to stencil alpha. So change it to stencil alpha. All you're then gonna do is duplicate this frame right here, uh, duplicate this overlay just by holding down the option key. Now we're gonna select on this top one and change that blend mode to screen. So the top one is screen and this one right here is stencil alpha. Now let's go ahead and let's just, uh, we can go ahead and just simply um, trim this photo right here just so this uh, will look a lot better. Now, as you can see, this is what it looks like. Now, as you see, you can't see the photos behind it. It's just a black background. You have to select all three of them, click on option G, and we'll name it two. You have to create a compound clip, and then as you see, now you go, now you can see the stuff behind the actual paper rip. So let's go like this. We'll go one, two, three, four. Um, create a, um, a blade the clip, one, two, three, four, and then blade the clip. Now we can go ahead and select on this one right here. Actually, maybe let's just leave it how it is. Maybe we want to increase the scale just slightly, move the position over, go to this one. Maybe you want to increase the scale a lot more to like 126, move it down and adjust the position. That obviously can be to your liking, and there we go. So we go ahead and play the clip right here. Now you have a really clean stop motion effect. So there we go. Kind of like pops, zooms back in, and then we'll go back into the next clip. So there we go. Now let's go ahead and select on overlay two, which is exactly the same thing that I did for overlay one. So go ahead and place it on top of the clip right here. And for this example, we'll have it eight frames. Then we can go ahead and select on the, the second freeze frame, the copy of the freeze frame we created. And there we go. Now let's go ahead and select on the end. And we're just going to trim the clip right here. So again, select on the paper rip overlay. Blend mode, change to stencil luma, duplicate the paper overlay by holding down the option key, and this top one, change this one to screen, select all three of them, click on option G to create a compound clip, that way you can see the photo behind it. So we're going to go to, let's do here, one, two, three, four, and then blade the clip. Let's go ahead and select on this one right here. Let's just increase the scale slightly, something like this. Now let's go to the next one, and we want to increase the scale even more and move the position down, and you could you could also adjust the rotation too. So if we go ahead, and, and as you see, there is the second clip. So if we go ahead and play it right here. Now you have this like really cool, like freeze frame. And there you go. This really clean transition. So that looks really cool. And there we go, as you see, and that just transitions into clip number two. Simple as that. As you can see, here is the finished product. You have a really cool paper rip um, collage transition, and there you go. It's as simple as that. Now, if you've been thinking to yourself, I don't, I want to create mixed media effects, but I don't have a print printer or a scanner. I really want to create them, but I don't have those. Well, you don't, you don't even need a printer and scanner. You can use these really cool digital overlays to create some really cool collage, paper rip, stop motion um, transitions. The link to these really cool paper rip overlays are going to be down in the description below if you want to go ahead and purchase them yourself. And anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, if you're looking for some really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, overlays, transitions, I have a really cool digital store where I sell a whole bunch of Final Cut Pro effects. That, the link for that will also be down in the description below. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.